I mean, I can see how these could be- Oh, hey, Agatha. I can see how these could be useful, but they're real and smelly. I'm not gonna feed these bastards. Right. Surprised to find you over here. Oh, sorry, I should have probably told you that I was back. <sighs> Glad to be out of the cold, frankly. I... Uh... Right, we talked. Place, isn't this? Hey! Uh, where did Sarin... There you are! Do you have a moment? Gunmar and I have been talking and... Well... We're slightly worried. Worried about what? We both realized that if Isran's even allowed us in here, he must be really concerned. And if he's that concerned, the situation must be pretty bad. Make sense? Hey. You worried about you? Oh, excuse me. You're worried about what we're up again? Up? You know what I'm trying to say? Yes. These vampires are a new threat and a truly deadly one. Is this just Gunmar because and I agree that we're going to need Florentius to help. Who? Gunmore and I have a lot of work to do here. So we were hoping that maybe you could track him down. Uh, who's Florentius? He's a priest of Arche. Well, he was. It's... It's complicated. Aye. He's a little eccentric. But we can trust him. And we can definitely use his skills. Gotcha. Where can we find him? We? You assume I'm coming with you? Uh, aren't you? I suppose. Well, that's the thing. We don't know where he is. Haven't seen him in years. I think he had regular contact with the Vigilance, and I know Isran kept track of them. So maybe you could ask Isran if he knows anything? Just keep in mind that he... Well... I might not like the idea. Aye, that's fine. Alright, oi! So... What? Is it? Isran! I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Ah. Uh, you knew about the. 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 Alright, fine. Uh, we're looking for someone named Florentius, me and Agatha. Uh, you never know where he'd be, would you? Who said something? Sorine or Gunmar? I thought they'd have learned their lesson by now. I don't trust that man. And I don't want him here. Oh? Alright, uh, Sorin thought we'd need his help. I suppose she's right. I shouldn't let my personal feelings get in the way. Last I heard of him, he was aiding the vigilance of Stendar at Runvald. He may still be there. If he can maintain some appearance of normalcy, I'll allow him to stay. What kind of... That ain't... Stay alert. Thanks. What do you mean, some appearance of normalcy? Hey, who knows? All right, you ready? Uh, yes. I'm not terribly interested in being out in the cold again, but I will help you out if for no other reason than to make sure you don't die gruesomely. Suppose that's the best I could ask for. Uh, how's it? Straight ahead. Hi. Uh, back out in the cold again. Ooh. Okay. Not that I mind the cold much, but uh, yeah. I'm just glad that the Nords make all of the things out of wool. Hi. Uh, where the? You were listening to what Isran was saying, right? Yes. Do you, would you remember what the, the, he said about... Okay, he marked it. We're good. Are you not paying any attention to that? Ooh. I mean, I was kind of paying attention, but... It, like... Kind of... Had my mind elsewhere when he was started talking about, uh... Some appearance of normalcy. Am I? Do I appear normal? As far as I can tell. Why? Eh, no reason. I mean, kind of. Sometimes I feel like I stick out like a sore thumb, you know? 
In what way? Like, well, you know, I don't exactly act like a normal Dunmer, do I? I'm not terribly familiar with what normal Dunmer act like. Good point. I should get you a clock or something. Oh god, what time is it? Well, this could be fun. You alright? Hi! I've just not been paying much attention to things I should have been paying attention to and now I'm a little bit worried about... stuff. Are they still out here training? I think they get tired of it eventually. Eh. Hey, we're going to be traveling in the middle of the night. Great. 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 Wonderful. Should probably get horses or something. That's not a bad idea. I think we should stop, stop in at Riften and see. I mean... Distracted. I could see that. Right. So it's just going to be up that way till we come across whatever this is. Hi, you look a little. Uh, what's your deal? Thief. All right, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Well, you know, I don't think so. Nice try, but you don't scare me. I I'm not gonna ask again. If I don't scare you, maybe she does. Then I guess that's your last <laughs> request, fool. Ooh. Well, that was certainly. I wasn't expecting you to take his head off quite so cleanly. And neither was I. Take that though. Who do you suppose lives up there? I believe that's the Blackbriar estate. You mean like the Jarl? Yes, I'd forgotten about that. Gonna go poking around there, I suppose. Not the best idea. So, you were listening when uh, Eastran was talking about Florentius from the having some semblance of normalcy, right? Yes. What do you think he meant by that? Like, oop. Like, how weird do you think the guy is? And what kind of weird? Do we just cut through? I I think we just cut through the wilderness. This seems dangerous. Eh, how bad can it be? <laughs> you say that now. Wait until the dragon drops down on our heads. There always seems to be one camped out in East March. Well, I don't think he'd be a Daedra worshipper, given that he's a priest of Arche, or was, and a vigilant. Ooh. Someone got, I think, toasted by their own Atronach. Is that thing gonna come here? Nope. Distracted. Let's go. Alright, alright. Give me a second, I need to eat something. 
No wonder I'm dragging my tail here. <laughs> How are you doing on the uh, supplies, by the way? Food and whatnot. What the heck? I've done it before. Ah, the staff is useless. I'm useless. The whole world is useless. Do you get involved or not? He might as well. He's probably going to hurt himself anyway. So, uh... Oh, hello there. I did notice you come up. I was focusing my magicka. On this welfare? Or at least I thought I was. I don't really know what I'm doing. That's obvious. Painfully so. You don't have to tell me that. See, my grandfather was a wizard. My father wouldn't talk about him much. But I found some of his things in the attic. Including this staff. After that, I thought I was turning into a wizard, too. Because dead things near me would come to life again for a while. I even went to the College of Winterhold. They just laughed at me. The magic is in the staff, not in me, they said. I, uh, was this before or after the Archmage got uh, changed over? Because I'm sure Arden would love to help you. But, uh... I don't know. Here, why don't I take that off your hands and get you a bit of coin to go, uh, I don't know, sponsor the tuition or something. I don't know. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? Yeah. In fact, keep it. I must have used up the magic in the staff or something. It's just a dumb stick of wood now. You want it? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm not a necromancer, nor anywhere near one. Uh, oop, I think we should probably go up that way, actually. So he was in the way, on the way, around the way, something like that. Hey. Ah, uh, never mind. That way's blocked. What? I said that way's blocked. Oh. So we're going to have to go around. Oh god, so I hope I've got a tent. I do! Alright, I've only got one bed roll. That's alright, we'll take watches. Hello, bear. You're in the way! Oh, nicely done. Eh, I've been practicing. Kind of. Gods. Delayed reaction fireball there, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes my magic does weird weird things. Sometimes I do weird things. It's all good. Uh well, that's where we're going up there, yeah? Looks about right. Uh hey, let's go around this way. Don't worry about the wolves. Where's the... I shall catch up. Probably going around the wolves. But you know, I wouldn't blame her. Look, there she is! Went around the wolves, did you? Yes, I don't fancy tangling with them. Aye. Excuse me. Um, can we get up here? I think probably. That's probably an easier way up, but here we are. Oop. It's probably the path here. about right well there's a tent already here huh. 
Uh. Where did you go? There you are. Sorry about that. I was sliding all over the place. <laughs> Perhaps I should invest in some chitin boots like you have. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna put this down just in case. If I can find a spot, it's not gonna be... Too terribly awkward. Ugh, well, it's not going to be even, but it'll be all right ish. Ye yeah, gods. All right, uh, tell you what. What is it? You stay here for a wee bit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go make sure the path is clear on the way back, just in case we have to escort the guy back. And you want me to stay here? Hi, right, uh, set up a fire or something. Alright. Whatever you say. Are you sure you're alright? Uh, more or less, yeah. I'm just gonna go check, make sure uh, we didn't leave anything behind. Might be a while. Get comfortable, all that. I'll be back. <sighs> this could be bad. I've not paid attention to the moons at all. I don't know what kind of what kind of night it's going to be. And I'm nervous anyway, just because the sun's going down. This could be really, really bad. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Come on. Alright. We're going to do this, pup. I thought I could have come up this way. I just took the long way. The hard way. Oh well. Happens. There's a rift in the right there. Hey, alright, I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See if anything happens. Just kinda hang out. Can't see the moon, so uh Maybe that'll help? I don't know, but I'd rather be out here if I, uh, get a bit hairy. Rather than inside somewhere. I don't want to sit down in the snow, but I don't want to stand around here like an arse either. Whatever. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, I'm glad I ran when I did. Great. Alright, pup, don't get us lost. A cave this time. Ugh. On a better roll, even. Right, that's nice. Something about trailing a beast. <laughs> this looks like me. My gran always said these places were full of treasures, just waiting for the first person to find them. Something like that. Oh, what kind of beast, I wonder. Besides me. Ugh. 
You know, I vaguely remember stepping on that. Still have a sore ankle. Alright, let's not get distracted. I'm sure Hegatha's waiting for us going, what in the heck is going on here? Us. Alright, let's see what's in here, just in case. Great gods. Hands, ugh. Hands are all shaky this morning. Screw that. There we go. Ugh. Right? Where? I told you not to get us lost, pup. What you do? Went out, get us lost. I can kind of smell my way back, though, I suppose. What's this? Oop. It's me getting stuck. Alright. The other side of Runevald. Must be up there then. Whew. Hey pup. Other pup. Rain's gone even more squarely than usual. Love it. Love it, love it. Wonder what my ancestor thinks about all this. Crow. I think my bones out the windy. Where did I leave Hegatha? Hopefully she's still wherever I left her. <gasps> oh you're Alright. Oh you best be glad I'm a dunmer, you wee bitch. Gods. Oh hey! Ooh, ooh, careful! You be careful. Where were you all night? Uh getting lost mostly. That didn't work. There's an idea. I'll draw fire and you, uh, fa fire. That works for me. Shouldn't use up all my all my spells. Where'd she go? Ah, uh, great. The dragon. Hey, Agatha. Hi. Oh. Ooh, all right. No, that's a big no. Oh. Help, 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 help. Ah, I would, but I. Ah. Ah, right. You're right. No, I'm not all right. I'm a little toasty around the edges. I've had worse. There we go.
right. That was, uh... You remember how I said something about a dragon dropping down on our heads? Hey, I do indeed. You great ugly bastard. <laughs> you holding up? Ah, barely. You remember where we are? More or less. Where's your map? I'll show you. Oh. Right. Can you figure? Shall we go do this then? Hopefully without getting lost this time. That would be preferable, yes. Are you alright? Eh, kind of. Got a little toasty, like you, but... Well, that's not what I meant, but... Good to know. What you mean then? Well, I mean you were out all night. I could have sworn I heard howling. I mean, there's wolves around everywhere. I'm not surprised. Have I gone completely the wrong way? I have, haven't I? Oh no, I've just gone up the sideways way. Not a great way to get up here, is there? Not particularly. Ah, uh, there's a bunny. Is it up here? I think so. Ah, there it is. Yes, yeah, so I kind of came down the mountain when I saw the dragon. And heard you. Hey. Uh, get yourself warm enough. Warm it. Let's just go. Yes, I'm mostly just concerned about. What the heck? Something smells weird in here. What do you mean, smells weird? We're in a cave, of course it smells weird. What was that? That's not what I meant. Whoop. Ah! Alright. The Charmed. That's lovely. Glad to have an actual mage on my side. Quicker with that thing. I've been practicing. Oh, 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 run. oh, ouch. I told you that to, 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 get to go. I could use a potion right about now if you've got one to spare. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, if you could get. get up. Oh, here. Uh, I think I've got one. Two, maybe. Ah. Uh, oh, I've not got many. Here. Thank you, that should help. Ah, there's nothing in there. Great! This is gonna be fun, isn't it? Try not to walk into any more traps. But how's about that? Sounds magnificent. Did you hear something? Hey, 
wait, there's another one. I'll hold on to him for now since I'm the one with a backpack. Makes sense to me. really care. I was going to say earlier I was mostly worried about you running off in the middle of the night on a full moon after having fought werewolves in a cave once. You remember, of course. I do indeed. Hello! Yeah. Oh, this oh, come on! I'll do. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that a lot. Still got scars. You got bitten, didn't you? No, I did not get bitten. You've gone silent. I'm concerned. I've gone silent because we've probably got company. Now you're mine. Where did you come by that sword? I've been meaning to ask. Uh Soul Slime. Down in a in a mine. Kinda like this one actually. There's traps. Let's be a little bit careful, eh? was some teleportation. <laughs> Sorry about that. Illusion magic is one of those things that I sometimes work on and sometimes don't. Hey, that's an interesting way to put it. Alright, it's gonna be fun. Here we go. Now you're mine. Like the bite of a flea. Uh, hmm. Jiggled my noggin there. Hey. I... Oop, careful. Didn't I say I was supposed to be the one going in first? Never said anything of the sort. I think so, sir. Oh good, they're hitting me with steel. What was that? Ah, uh, nothing. Just... Wondering what they were hitting me with. Besides, you know, maces. Admiring the work. Wondering if it was iron or steel, because I'm not familiar with Nordic weaponry quite as much. Of course. I wonder what happened to all these people. Hi. Besides getting charmed within an inch of their lives. Charmed out their wits. What's this? Scripture of Minorn. Glory be to Minorn. Uh. Oh! The guard Florentius sent from Beacon. Sent from the Beacon, he still prays to RK, an absentee god who pales in comparison to Minorn. I'll pray to the goddess I can see. May he not. May he rot in his cage, O oh sweet, sweet Minorn. That's. interesting. Some kind of cult, then. Seems to be that way. Fun! Fun, fun. Here, let me... Uh. Sorry. Just scouting ahead of it. I, I was going to give you another potion, since I picked one up. Uh, actually, I've got a couple of these. Here. 
I didn't mean to give you all of them. I'll take a few back. There we go. Hopefully that will be enough, since I know some healing magic, I should be able to back off and heal myself if things go completely... Tits up. That's gonna be good. Let's throw in the big guns first, eh? And I'm out. Well, that's fine. Alright. Got you. Ooh, you right? I've got potions, I'll be fine. That looked a little squirrely. Oh, look at this thing. I'll leave that here. And you're not exactly a staff wielder, or so... Exactly. You an alchemist? Um, not really. Hey, uh, did we get all of them? We did. Ah, and that's Florentius. I think. Hey, how's it going? I knew it. I knew RK would save me. I asked for help, and he sent you. You are a very welcome addition to this dreary place, my friend. I owe both you and RK a great deal. Wh uh... I'm sure I'll manage to repay him later. But you, what can I do to thank you? Eh, uh, alright, now I understand. Um, Isran needs your help, actually. Isran? My help? Is this some kind of a joke? Did R.K. put you up to this? Uh, Isran's done nothing but mock me. He's never given me the respect I deserve. It, 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 I don't think you're... Come on, we, we need your help, sir. I think. We at least need your backup. Look, I've just got myself out of quite a mess here, in case you haven't noticed. And while I appreciate your help, I... What's that? No, that's not what I... Yes, but... Are you sure? Really? Fine. Arke says it's a good idea for me to go. I don't agree. But he's not the sort of fellow you can just ignore. I'll see you at Fort Dawnguard, then. Don't worry. Arke will show me the way. Uh... Was... He was just talking to Arky? I think. I'm not sure if he was talking to Arky or if he's just mad. Hmm. You know, I've heard of Daedra talking to people, but not the Divines. It's a little... Not something I was expecting. Neither here. Are you sure you know you where, uh, where you're going? All right. We're gonna go out this way, because I found the door at the bottom of here. When I got lost. You know, he kind of reminds me of someone. He reminds you of someone. Hi. Where are the blazes? They're supposed to be. Take those. Ah, there's the thing. That's clever. Hi, he reminds me of a. Uh... You ever met the Dragonborn? No, I don't... I don't believe we've had the pleasure, no. Well, she's a little bit... interesting like that. I do kind of wonder how she's doing. 
she... I don't know. You know, having met her, I'm a little bit inclined to believe that Florentius actually does speak to RK. Because, like... The last has been the Sovereign Guard. Really? Aye. Hope she's doing alright. Figured you might come out here for this. You figured right. I had no idea Dawnstar had a festival of lights. I didn't know either until I got a note from a courier. You? I was playing at the inn in Dragon Bridge and a woman asked me if I'd be celebrating. I told her it felt kind of pointless outside Hammerfell and she pointed me here. Sounds about right. You know about the festival of lights? Probably not the nuance behind it. I had a friend once, Naren Katia, God's rest her soul. We all called her Cat. Every year around this time, she lit up candles all around Serpent's Trail. It was... impractical, but beautiful. And it meant something to her. Sounds like you were close. Yeah, we were some kind of family, for sure. Cat was like everyone's protective big sister. Was? Was. I'd light a candle for her, but feels weird. I'm not a red guard. I'm sure she'd appreciate the thought. Thanks. So, what's all this about, anyway? With the lights, I mean. From what I gathered, it was like, I don't know, Yakutan New Year mixed with some kind of remembrance ceremony. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. In my family, we all gathered up with the cousins and uncles and aunts and... Oh, gods, it was such a noisy mess, honestly. We'd all stay up and party, wear our finest clothes, and watch performers do all kinds of dances and tricks. And around midnight, my father would sit everyone down and lead an old Yokudan prayer for good harvests, good fishing, safe return, all that. In the morning, we'd all get up late, and at noon the city all gathered at the harbor so the local priest could bless the boats. Seems like quite an affair. It was. You seem a little tense. Yeah. It was a big, wonderful party. My mother was always the star of the show. The pride of the extended Almerzim family. But? But my father didn't take kindly to anyone standing in his spotlight for too long. He was an Alakir warrior, after all. Honored, elite, to be respected. He'd make life miserable for days after, finding any little thing to complain about or criticize. My mother... Well, she was a stubborn, cold woman outside of family gatherings. She could just stand there and take it. He never laid a hand on her, but he always managed to find fault with something. And of course, she didn't care because we were both just trophies to her. I was a kid stuck in the middle of all that, the easiest possible target. No matter which way I turned, I was afraid of making them angry. Eventually, I learned how to play along, stay quiet. Stay small. Follow their rules. Try to be as perfect as I could be so I wasn't the one either of them found fault with. It would have been easier to deal with if it had all been just bad, but sometimes it wasn't. It was exhausting. Oh, shit. You're right. I'm terrified. What if they find me out here? What if they find out that I've... I've done this thing. I've... I found my own place. I killed Alduin. I I walk around looking like this rather than... What would they do? What can they do? Even if one or both of them were to make the journey here, you're one of the most powerful people in Skyrim, if not Tamriel. You have people in your corner. You have me. You have Arden, Zaytes, Dom, Yarnvita and her granddaughter. Your house, Carl. Olivia, gods, I barely even talked to her. How'd you know I had a house, Carl, anyway? You're a Thane in Skyrim. Someone is sworn to carry your burdens. 
Point is, you're surrounded by people who care about you. People who would protect you if you couldn't protect yourself for whatever reason. I'm still terrified. It's this... gut punch reaction. I feel like I'm making a big deal just to get attention, but also, like... Like, with all this distance and power, I should be over it somehow. Like, I should be stronger than this, but... Even just talking to you about it, I feel... I, I keep bracing myself for... Well, the worst. And I don't even know what the worst is. I felt braver staring down Alduin in Sovngarde. Kinoa, no amount of strength or power or might can heal that kind of wound. What can? The first step is always the hardest. Recognizing you've been hurt. You've already done that. As for what helps? Time, love, forgiveness. A good cry every once in a while. Talking about it, probably. I don't think I could ever forgive them. No, and you don't need to. I mean yourself. You have to be willing to forgive yourself. For playing it small, for being quiet, for going with the flow, denying who you are, anything you had to do to survive. The wolf does not regret his survival, even if he carries that scar for the rest of his life. You've been through this kind of thing too, huh? <laughs> through is a matter up for debate. I don't think I've made it to the end of my own fog yet, but some days it's a little easier to see through. Some days I wonder if I'm just stuck with everything for the rest of my life. Arden is helping. Having people like you around to remind me that I'm worth something and have my own identity helps. It doesn't have to be love. How are you two doing, by the way? I think he's getting sick of my melodrama. I'm kidding. But making it work. It's a bit of an odd situation, but we're making it work. He needs space to study and I need space to do my job, so... Trying to find the balance between too much space and not enough is... Interesting, but... I think it's going well. Good. Good. Thanks, by the way. I... I have a hard time talking about my parents. I have a hard time finding people who understand. I can't say as I understand what it's like to have parents like that, but I do know what it's like to be broken down to your constituent parts and made to feel like you can't trust yourself. I know what it's like having to rebuild yourself from the bones outward. How'd you do it? I'm still not done. I'm a work in progress, but aren't we all? How did you even start? I held on to something that meant the world to me and never let it go. Not even the most painful torture could tear it from me. What was it? My real name. Sounds trite, I realize. Part of the reason I have so many now. Names. Adding layers on top of my identity to protect myself. I'm more of a coward than people realize, I think. But cowards live. I've made my peace with it. I've surprisingly got a lot more to live for than I usually think about. I've got... <laughs> I guess lately I've had all kinds of layers added onto my own identity. Ones I never asked to know about, but do now. I kind of feel like... Like I've lost who I am in the shuffle of figuring out what I am. It's a challenge to dig yourself back out of a long shadow like that. I'm willing to help. I've been there. I may not know what you need, but I'm always willing to lend a shoulder or an ear. Or both. Thanks. You know, when I was growing up, and a few times here, actually, I used to talk with the ghost of my older brother. Kinda like how the Dunmer have their ancestors. Something like that, yeah. Except... Well, lately I've wondered if it's really him I've been seeing, or if it's... I don't know, some version of me I was forced to push outside of myself so it was safe from my parents. Not unheard of. You don't think it's weird? I think you did whatever you had to do to survive. Maybe that piece of you is the core you had to hold on to, however you had to do it. I would explain some things. <laughs> Thank you. I have a lot to think about. And a lot to answer for. 
and time. Happy New Year.